What's up guys, Nax Tech here and in this video I'm going to be routing and unlocking my Nexus 10 tablet. So you can see here all my stuff is still on there so I haven't done this previously, it is still locked and unrouted. So yeah, all the links to the toolkits and the developer's website called Woodfresh is in the description below so if you want to do this yourself you can go ahead and do this. So this is going to be a kind of tutorial slash, you know, live flashing because I'm going to go ahead and do it while I'm uh, talking to you and um, we'll see how it goes. So I've already downloaded it from here and you can see I haven't even installed it yet so I'm just going to go ahead and install this. Um, and here we go. So as always, you know, to root is cool because you can install custom ROMs and custom kernels and all that cool stuff. So select the device you have, we've got the Nexus 10, select the build 4.2.1, make sure you are running that build. So it says here to, in, to install you need a USB debugging on, so go to settings. If yours is not in this menu, you will have to go to about tablet and tap build number seven times to unlock it. Then go into developer settings and hit up USB debugging, make sure that is ticked otherwise it will not work. So We'll hit OK here, and it opens up. I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in now. Now, if you've never done this on a Nexus device before, you'll need the drivers. I'm not going to do the drivers because I already have them on there from other previous devices, so I should be fine. And you can see there in the corner, it's connected, and the USB debugging man is there. So... Here we go, this is as easy as it is, we're just going to go ahead and hit unlock. When you hit unlock it says this will wipe your device and make a backup first. So yeah, why not, let's just hit up backup, create a backup file. Actually, you know what, I'm not going to because I don't want to restore it anyway, so I'm just going to hit unlock. But if you want your stuff, hit a backup up because it's all going to go. So it's going to be completely wiped, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Checking ADB status. Device connected. Here we go. I'm just going to hold this up for you to see what it's doing. I actually need to see. Okay. It's into bootloader mode now. You can see it's really easy. It's just doing this all for me. So, unlock bootloader, you get this big menu button. So, it tells you on the screen what to do. Highlight yes to unlock with the volume keys, then press the power button. Volume keys. So yes, I'm now highlighted yes. I'm going to hit the power button now. And there we go. So now it's going to wipe everything. So I'm going to start afresh on my Nexus 10 tablet, but this time it's going to be rooted and hopefully, well, at the moment it's just going to be unlocked. I've got to do something else for a root. Wait for your device to finish booting up, it may take a while or appear to be boot looping, just wait. Go through the initial setup, yeah okay. So basically it says once it turns back on, um, you've got to go ahead and turn on USB debugging back on. To do that you'll have to tap the build number seven times because it won't be there. So just wait for this to turn on now. Okay guys, so I skipped that big chunk there because it took a while to turn back on, but now we are completely on and you know we have to go through the setup. So I'm just going to quickly type in a few things, not everything, just to quickly get through it. Okay. So I'm not going to do any of the Google stuff, I'm just going to skip it for now. I'll write my tablet name in. Okay, Google services, finish, and we are back to completely stock, but now we have an unlocked bootloader. So, like I like it says on the screen there, now we're going to go ahead and get the developer settings back on. So, as you can see there, it's not there now. About, tap this build number, developer settings, turn on USB debugging. Plug it back in, and now we're going to root and in install a custom recovery, so yay. Okay, so we'll press OK here, 
flash custom recovery. We'll see which one it has. Currently it's using the TWRP one, which I don't mind, so I'm gonna keep that one. Gonna hit root now, and it's gonna tell that it has to download all the images and that kind of crap. So here we go. Just hold this up so you can see. Nothing's happening at the moment because it's downloading all the images for root. So you can see it's really easy. Um, some people have had problems with boot looping after the unlock. I've put in the description a um, a forum post that actually will fix any problems. It's really easy, basically it just needs a factory reset. So if you get a boot loop after the unlock, just go ahead and read that. No need to panic. So there we go, are you ready to continue? Yeah, 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 basically you can read all that, but it's basically yes. Here we go. I guess it's going to reboot. Here we go. What is it doing now? Okay, it's still doing stuff. Waiting for your device to finish booting back up. You can see you don't even have to like be here. Once you press the button, it's like ready to go, right? Pushing root files to a device. It's really hard. I wish I could see it at the same time to <laughs> show you, but I can't. Here we go. Flashing custom recovery. This is the good stuff. Routing. I'm guessing it's just going to work. You can see the unlock there on the Google logo. So we do have an unlocked bootloader. I think that's it now, guys. I think it's it's done. Yeah. Waiting for your device to finish booting back up. And there you go. If we go ahead and just check to make sure that SuperSU has been installed. Um, you can see their busy box at the top left and super SU down there. So yeah, guys, that's it. My tablet is now unlocked, rooted and custom recoveried. So it's as easy as that. You can go ahead and do whatever you want with it now. It's completely your device. So yeah, hope that was easy enough, guys. I'll see you later.